Hello, my name is Diana and today I am reviewing the, my MDX Acura 2016. I've been an Acura owner for the last 12 years. I've loved it so much that I got my second MDX in the same color as the first. And my lease is now up in six months and I'm looking to get another Acura, most likely. I just don't know that I'll get the MDX because the new RDX has just come out and I want to check it out. So a few things I've loved about my car, um, the, the transmission, which I originally did not like, it's flat. Uh, I've not gotten used to it and I do like it. Um, I do like the two screens, very friendly interface, great AC, very comfortable car, smooth ride. Um, it has a nice sunroof, which comes in handy in uh, Florida, and also um, comfortable um, wide seating, including the third row, which um, is convenient with more passengers and plenty of cargo space. And now let's go see the new RDX. Follow me. Hello again. So here I am testing the new RDX and wow, this looks fantastic. I noticed the bucket seats by color with the leather, very roomy back seat and very interesting. It has the same transmission and here I see a new screen. Very nice. Let's turn it on. Okay, so I am finally testing the RDX. This is very exciting. I am a long-standing Acura owner. Uh, really enjoyed having my MDX and I'm very look very much looking forward to now test driving the, uh, the RDX. This is the A-Spec series, which is going to be obviously sportier than their uh, luxury model. I love the steering wheel and the bucket seats, the leather, definitely gives you the impression of a, a sports car together with the smooth ride. Nice torque, nice pickup, car is quiet. Great visibility, it has a big windshield. Um, and also now I have the open double sunroof, which is a really nice feature. Good visibility from the, the rear window as well, windshield as well. I really appreciate the fact that Acura has been able to blend safety with comfort and, um, and aesthetics. The dashboard lights up in red, adding to the, the sporty feel. I see here you have the, the touchpad where you could get the radio, access, phone, navigation, all of the car's settings. So I took the new RDX uh, 2019 for a test drive, a little bit longer than what I would have been given at the dealership. I had a very smooth ride, nice uh, pickup, everything you would expect from an Acura. Going back to the inside, a main difference is the pad, the touch screen, that now controls all of your settings. And this has an ergonomic pad here where you can um, rest your wrist and kind of activate the different features. On the right hand side you will then be able to store um, your favorites. So they've moved up the transmission that I used to dislike in the in the MDX. In the RDX they've moved it up and they've replaced that space with the uh, the touch screen which I think I, will, I would get used to much um, sooner. The car is very roomy the leather is beautiful, um, very high quality um, leather, very spacious, fun steering. The car is uh, very sleek from the outside, it has a sporty look and feel to it. Definitely a fun ride and one of the things I enjoy the most is the large surface sunroof which basically takes up all of the roof and, um, and is definitely very unique and comes standard in this uh, new RDX. Interestingly, as I'm here trying the new RDX, the Tahoe from Chevrolet is, is right here. And I've already test driven the car, which for the same price tag of about $46,000, I would get much more cargo space 
a roomier inside, more towing power. However, it's a, it's a much larger engine that I think would give me about 16 miles per gallon versus 23 miles per gallon for the RDX, uh, which has a much more efficient engine. And also with the RDX, I get nice leather seats, so it's much more luxurious inside versus the Tahoe, which is um, much more rustic and basic. So a lot to think about, um, considering that the RDX has also a very um, favorable cargo space with a lot of room, a built-in storage that you just lift, and, um, and it's just very pleasant, open ride altogether. So in conclusion, with just under 10 minutes of, of driving time and exploration of the new 2019 RDX, it looks like I will have to continue doing my homework. It's uh, a great car overall, the Acura delivers once again. Very sporty, sleek looking, roomy inside, luxurious, very progressive with the new touchpad. A lot to consider and uh, it may be a strong contender.